everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. If it sounds like my mouth is full, that's because you're 100% correct. <laughs> I have a mouthful of sunflower seeds, and I don't know why I decided to eat them now. <laughs> Seems like a very inappropriate time to do that, but sometimes you just can't resist the urge. But, welcome back to Let's Play some more Tabletop Racing World Tour. This was the last thing that I filmed before my uh, capture card went kaput, so... What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back and do a couple races again just because I didn't notice that there was a problem until after I was done with the episode. So when we got to that point, we had this race here and the uh, Nitrous Challenge. So that's going to be what we're going to do today and uh, it, everything's going to be awesome. So here we go. This dude, this level was so hard. <laughs> I, I absolutely hated it with a burning passion. But it's going to be okay now. Even though I've taken like a month off from playing this, so my, my skills are going to be absolutely shoddy. It's going to be fine. I'm going to make it work. I am, I'm trying out this new flavor of seeds. I've been kind of out of the seed game for a little while. Usually like the only time that I'll really ever get into the whole... Oh god. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> Usually like the only time that I'm really ever into like the sunflower seeds game is, uh, is during baseball. But even then I've been... I've been slacking quite a lot. This is not going to go over well. <laughs> the game's just like, uh, you do realize what you're supposed to be doing, right? And yes, I, I do realize what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just not doing a very good job at it. Alright, I'm... Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to start again. I'm uh, trying a different flavor than I normally do. Normally... I'm always, I'm always a David Ranch guy. Like, David, David Ranch seeds are like my, they're like my life force, pretty much. Like, when I, if I were to, if I were to go to the hospital in need of an IV, that is most definitely what they would put in there, which is like 95% salt. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is I'm a very salty human being, and you guys already knew this from watching me do things. Oh, no! Well, there we go. Alright, it has amounted to... Close, but no banana. I have never heard that before. That That is most certainly a new one. Okie dokie. That one's promising. That one looked pretty good. Oh! Oh, God. Really got bailed out on that one. Yeah, but normally, uh, normally, I always just go with, like, the regular ranch, but I went to the convenience store later and I went to this little, this little, uh, plaid pantry right next to my house. And uh, I just wanted to see what they had. I was kind of, I was kind of feeling getting that in a couple of Gatorades, and uh, I saw they had like this buffalo ranch flavor, and I was like, "Huh, that sounds, that sounds relatively, uh, you know, intriguing to to my, to my liking." And so, oh, damn it! And so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a roll. Uh, oh boy! Uh, oh. Oh, God. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. You guys get the idea. Like, I, I have actually completed this already. And, uh, considering how hard it was, I really don't want to have to go through the process of doing it again. Like, when I, when I filmed this originally, it took me, like, a solid 15 minutes out of the 30 minutes of that video that I made. So, you get the gist of the idea. The level's fucking hard. Okay? That's 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 the point. So, I got that one done, and then we go on to the the, the old nicer... Uh, the, 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 the nitrous challenge. I'm gonna change my damn tires, though, because I actually went through that challenge uh, with the regular wheels on, and dude, that was so bad. Such a bad idea. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. So I'm trying these Buffalo Ranch flavor ones, and they're good, but they just, to me, like, I don't taste any of the buffalo taste in it. I mean, I'm sure there's not, like, real buffalo meat in there, <laughs> nor is there really any buffalo sauce flavor in there. It just, it just, all it, the only thing it tastes like to me, personally, is it just tastes like a slightly less flavorful ranch flavor. It's really the only thing I'm getting out of that in the first place, so... With that, it just, I don't know, it's just like a, a little bit of a disappointment, I suppose? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. But that's besides the point. Anywho, 
this one, if I remember correctly, this is a fairly long little championship series, but because of the fact that I am, you know, rolling with my, uh, with my gold joint wheels on right now, we are going to blaze through this like you wouldn't believe. When I did this the first time, I had forgotten to change my wheels from the drifting ones back over to these, and so, dude, turning was an absolute nuisance. I mean, it was, it was just, it was just like, it was giving me anxiety just trying to race. <laughs> Like, I don't think that I, I... I think I got first in a couple of them, but I definitely didn't get first in this one. Oh, no. It was it was bad. Just like any given turn, I was swerving. I was swerving like a drunken dude on like a, on like a four-day bender. It was, it was pretty bad. But you know what? I figure since... Uh, I figure since we've been out of the game for... Uh, we've been out of the game from this... Uh, from this uh, particular little series for a while now... I thought I'd come back into the whole thing with a bang, because my god, do I have a great story for you today. I read one of the most glorious things today. <laughs> and it's really funny, because uh, as you guys know, I started up a podcast with a couple friends of mine. And uh, in in our you know in our infancy as, as podcastees, one of the topics we talked about is, you wake up in the morning one day, and, uh, and you've got $40 million in your bank account, what it, what's the first thing you do? And like, you know, naturally, like, the first thing you think of is, is like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go, you know, ball out of control, I'm gonna go take it, I'm gonna go take all my money out in $1 bills and fill my bathtub with it and, and, you know, just, uh, take a bath in my money or, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and buy, like, you know, 45 cars or, or, or whatever, I'm gonna go out and have like a big badass breakfast and, you know, freaking like T-bone a school bus full of strippers while I'm, you know, high on PCP or something, <laughs> I, I don't really know. But, um, but the point is, the point is, um, I didn't really think about it until I read this episode. Like, there are a lot of people that when they, upon getting knowledge of having that type of money, being in a whole, you know, being in like seven tax brackets higher or whatever. I never, it never really occurred to me that like a lot of people, the first thing that they would do is probably quit their job, like their existing job that they were already at. Because like a lot of people, you know, the, these jobs that they're working, really a lot of people probably don't even like them in the first place, or they don't like their boss, or they don't like their coworkers, or whatever the combination of things may be. Um, and it never had really, you know, struck my mind that, that people would realistically probably do that because you'd, I mean, having $40 million, you'd never, you'd never have to work another day in your life unless you're like Alan Iverson and you have absolutely no restraint whatsoever when it comes to, you know, frugally spending your, uh, your, your frog skins. But, uh, and, uh, the, and I guess the, the prime example, the ultimate example of somebody just going and balling out crazy and quitting their job right on the money and making it count <laughs> was on this thing that I read today while I was doing some paperwork. And, like, I'm not 100% sure that it was real, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was, just based off of the fact of, like, the, the website that I read it on, it just, like, it totally, it totally sounded like something, oh, we need to get this right now. I gotta get this guy right now. Oh, I've got to get him right now. Come on, baby. There it is. Oh, no! Oh, come on. Come on. You gotta go. You gotta go. I can't let this guy beat me. And he's not going to now. Oh, yeah. Overtook him at the last. Um, like, the website that I read this on, totally, it totally made me think that it was like a Deadspin type of place. But Deadspin's usually reporting on stuff that actually happens. They just seem to have people that are that are kind of sort of douchey uh, reporting on it. But anywho, oh, those are all like Pokemon cards right there. I didn't even realize that. That's one hundred percent what those what those cards, those trading cards, are like. There, it's either that. I mean, they could be like magic cards or a billion other things. I mean, they have cars on them, but they like the way that they're built. They have they look like Pokemon cards to me. Anywho, I'm getting I'm getting off topic again. I do that a lot. So. <laughs> Anywho, before I get away from it, apparently in this article, whether it's real or fake, it was still funny to me. This uh, this lady, she won you know, she won the lottery, you know, maybe like I think it was like one of the smaller lotteries, maybe like the in-state one that's usually always less money than like the big, the big nationwide ones, or whatever makes sense. 
And uh, it was like, I think it was like, you know, four or six million dollars, which is still just a fucking, just a Bolsheviks worth of money. That doesn't even make any sense. I mean, a, a Bolshevik is not a unit of measurement at all. <laughs> it's it's not really a, a measurement of anything. It's, that's that's a type of person, I believe. Anywho, besides the point again. Um, so she wins a whole bunch of money, and the first thing that she decides to do is she's quitting her job, but she's doing it in style. She goes to work the next morning, you know, after she realizes that she's got all this money now. She goes to work, and on, on her lunch break, when her boss was out of the office, she uh, decides that she's going to go sneak right on in there while he's not in. And uh, when the when her boss came back from lunch, he noticed that the door was closed. And he's like, when I when I saw the door was closed, that immediately made me feel kind of weird because I never, he's like, I never have that door closed. So I already felt like something was afoot there <laughs> in the beginning. He's like, as soon as I open the door, I, I walk I walk in the door to my office to see this this lady. I, I don't remember what her name was. We'll call her Heather. As, as I feel like the name Heather would work for this. So, he's like, I open the door to see Heather just standing on top of my desk. And I thought that was rather weird right away. He's like, it was right then that I realized that she had her pants down around her ankles and she was squatting taking the, what I could, <laughs> just taking a giant dump on my desk. <laughs> and as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, dude, that's so gross. And, like, he, he goes, you know, further into the thing. He's like, he's like, and he he used a word to describe shit that I have never heard in my entire life, but I think I'm probably going to use for the rest of my life now because it is simply fantastic. He's like, he's like, you know, you never really think that you're going to come back from lunch and you're going to have one of your employees standing on your desk squatting over and the, the and the only thing you can see is just a mud monkey coming out of their ass. <laughs> mud monkey, a mud monkey. That is that is the best. That is the best word that I have. The best description I have ever heard for somebody dropping a deuce. <laughs> so perfect. And then you know, promptly she got fired after that. I'm sure he's. But uh, just the way the whole article was worded, it was just it was so weird because it, it didn't feel like. It didn't feel like, you know, an article that was written by a professional at all, but it, alas, it was. Or something like that. Super funny, though, dude. Like, I, I never really thought that, you know, people would, would do that type of thing at all, but it would not surprise me. Not even a little bit. Did we not just do this track a minute, like, a couple minutes ago? I feel like we did. Oh, God. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was I'm doing, like, stunts over here in the office right now. I'm sitting here <laughs> while I'm chewing on these seeds. I'm, like, trying to time it just right. So, like, when I when I get air off of that jump, <laughs> I, can, I can reach into my mouth, take out the seed, and then throw it in this little glass here. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not going to do it right there. I didn't, ha I didn't have any on hand. But still... That's great. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that right there. That is not the ideal place to do that. <laughs> I mean, I've got enough of a lead that I can totally get away with it, but it's fine. I've felt really weird all day today, actually. Um, like, do you ever have one of those moments where you feel like you're getting headaches out of nowhere just for, like, seemingly no reason? Like, usually... When most people get headaches, it's because, you know, you got, like, migraines and there's a legitimate reason for that. Or you're getting, like, you know, headaches based off of stress. It totally makes sense. But then there's those ones that you get that just, like, all of a sudden they just show up and you're like, I don't know what the hell's going on. I had that today and it was going on all day and it, it just occurred to me why that was. When I went to work today, this is so stupid, by the way. This, this, is, this was, like, one of those moments where I realized... Man, I need to lose weight some more. I like I I'm, I've been losing weight, but I still need to lose more weight because this is not okay. <laughs> so, when I went to work this morning, I uh, I was kind of in a hurry, and so I just grabbed this pair of shorts that didn't occur to me that there was going to be a problem there until late until later. But I put them on, and I and like they're they're pretty loose fitting ones, so I needed a belt for them, and. I've had this belt, I'm not kidding, I've had this belt since I was not even shitting you, when I was still in middle school. 
like granted when I was in middle school this belt was fucking huge and so it was able to get me all the way through middle school and high school and you know for a long time because I've had a fairly consistent for the most part a fairly consistent waistline for that time you know within reason of course but when it came down to it I put these things on I went to work and uh and like I went through most of the day just feeling kind of off I guess um, just I, I felt like kind of nauseous on and off during the day and I, I and I had like the I had the whole headache thing and I thought it was because I didn't I like I thought it was because my blood sugar was low and like my protein was off or something and uh, I just I couldn't put my finger on it, it was really bothering me and uh, and I went to lunch and uh, I went and got food, and I felt better, you know, they got rid of that part of it, and, like, the headache was gone for a little bit, but then it came back. And that whole nausea part of things came back again. And I was just like, why, why do I feel, like, why do I feel so weird? I was like, I just, I, I can't seemingly, you know, wrap my head around why it is that I feel just so out of sorts, more or less. And then as soon as I got off of work, I just, just I, I, uh... I decided, you know, when I got in my car, I was like, you know what, my shorts feel a little bit tight, like, around my around my waist. And I, un I like, undid the clasp on that belt and just, like, let them just kind of freely hang. And I was like, oh, my God, that's what the problem has been. Because I had that belt on, and it was just, it was just like, I felt like I had, like a, like, a tentacle doing just, like, that constrict move on my, just on my insides, dude. It was so awful. It was just like right in a spot where like it was so tight that it was just putting so much pressure on just my guts, <laughs> just, I'll just my just my freaking my just everything in here. It was causing so much pressure that it was giving me headaches and nausea, and I couldn't even I, I like it, it was it was messing me up inside so much that I couldn't even like I couldn't even register the fact that like just my fucking tight ass pants and my small ass belt is totally what was causing, like, all of this discomfort in my body. And it was at that moment I was like, dude, you really need to, you really need to lose some more, because that's not good. Not only, you know, not only could that have been averted had I not weighed what I weigh, and, like, it's not like I'm fat or anything, like, I have some, but I still, you know, could stand to lose maybe another, like, five or seven pounds. But, it's, dude, it's that fucking belt, man. <laughs> That belt is a nightmare. Like, I need to throw that damn thing away and go get a new one super bad. But I'm telling you, anybody, you better make sure that you've got a comfortable... Either that or just wear shorts that are, you know, form-fitting that you don't have to even bother with that with. But, oh, God, it was that was, that was such a, like... That was such a... Just, like, kind of like a... It was like a self-body shaming moment. It was awful. <laughs> I was just like... Oh, you fat bastard. Put down the burger, you douche. <laughs> Even though I had a burrito for lunch. That's besides the point, though. I had two burgers for lunch yesterday. <laughs> that's that's what this is all about. That's what, that's what it's all happening. So, with that said, in 18 minutes, we were able to complete what took me, you know, 31 minutes before. So, here we are. In the net, when we come back next time on Let's Play Tabletop Racing World Championship, we've got a nice big slate of races in uh, this supposed finale. Or not, I mean, the final cup here. It's not going to be the final set of episodes because after we finish this, I don't know if there's like a little extra secret thing here or not. Plus, there's all these special events too. So, there's definitely plenty more to go. But, that is uh, that is the way we are re-entering this series, my friends. So, when, uh, when we come back, we're going to have some more fun. I'll have some more stuff to talk about. And uh, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching. And if you do win the lottery, don't take a shit on your on your boss's desk. Even if he's an asshole, he probably doesn't deserve to have to clean your fucking stool off of his workspace, you know? Just, uh, you know, don't work anymore. See you guys later. Bye.